Hello everybody, welcome to the Roland BN20 virtual workshop brought to you by us here at the Vinyl Guys. This video, we're gonna be running through the procedure of doing the manual clean on the BN20. For this one, you'll need the BN20 utility, rolling cleaning solution, some cleaning swabs, and some gloves. So what we'll do first, we'll go to the PC and I'll show you where to find the manual cleaning option on there. To begin with the manual clean, you have to open up the BN20 utility software. Once you turn the machine on and it's plugged in to your laptop or PC, it will automatically open and then shut itself down in the right hand corner down by the clock. So if you open that up, you'll see the little BN20 utility icon. If you click on that, it will open the dialog box for you. So now you're in there, if you go to adjustment, you'll see all your normal calibrations. The one you want is manual clean. So what will happen is, if you click that, this is a little reminder that if you've got your material still in your BN20, you have to take, you have to unclamp it and take it out of your printer. So what we'll do, we'll press OK. We will unclamp the lever. So once that's done, you can then press it. And what will happen is the head will come over to the maintenance bay and allow you to clean around the edge of the head. So the first option we've got in the utility, it will give you a step-by-step -step guide. So first of all, it's telling you to take the left-hand side cover off. It gives you 30 minutes to complete this operation. If it's not completed in 30 minutes, the beeper will go off and you'll have to put all the covers back on. It will return to its capping station and you'll have to begin from the start again. So once you've done that, you press next. And this is where you start your manual clean. So as you can see, it's just showing you to clean on the edge of the head. So the, the head's on the left hand side. It will give you a brief explanation on the left hand side. Uh, give, if you haven't done it before, just give that a quick read through of what you're supposed to be doing. It gives you a little bit of tips and advice and what to use. But what we'll do now, we'll go back to the machine and we will do a practical and I will show you where to clean and the hardest parts of the head to clean. So with the manual clean, we have our Roland cleaning solution and we have our cleaning swabs. So all we do is get a cleaning swab with cleaning solution on it. We open this cover. You can also open the front cover to make it a little bit easier. So you can push the head as far left as possible to give you as much access as possible to the head. So what we'll do, as it shows in the BN20 utility, we're going to clean on the outside of the head now. So as you can see, the head is what I like to call a little plasma TV. So what you're doing is just cleaning around the outer. So you've got the sides, you've also got the back, the front, and also the right hand side. Always be wary on this right hand side, the head bracket on the right is covered by the actual print platen. Always check that side of the head because what you won't be able to see is dragging dust, dragging hair, which can cause uh, ink dragging across, across your material. So always check even around the, the head bracket too. So all you're doing with this is gently cleaning on the outside of the print head. If you see a hair or a drop of ink on your print head, don't be too nervous just to give it a, a gentle wipe off um, just to stop any sort of issues regarding that. Okay, so now we've cleaned around the head. What you can do is press next. That will then kick you into the next stage of the operation. So as you can see on the left hand side it gives you tells you to clean the frame around the head cap which is this section here and then it tells you to clean the wiper which is this section there. Again brief explanation what you're supposed to be doing but what we'll do now we'll go back to the machine and we'll go through cleaning the cap top and the wiper. So the next step Again, like I said on the utility, we want to clean the wiper and the cap top. So, swab. All you're doing with the wiper is gently wiping across the top. And with the cap top, you're just wiping, the same with the head, you're wiping, wiping around the outer. Always check for any warping with the rubber seal. We always advise on changing this probably anywhere between six to 12 months, depending on usage 
and wear and tear. But all you're doing on a weekly basis is cleaning around the outside of the cap top. So now we've completed that section, we've cleaned around the cap top and the wiper. So what we'll do, we'll press next. And this is the final stage of your manual head clean. So it's telling you to attach the maintenance cover on the left hand side. Once you're done, we can press finish. And what will happen is the head will return back to its capping station and give itself an automatic normal head clean just because it's been out of its capping station. Once that's done, you'll be ready to print again. Again, if there's any questions of what you've seen today, please do not hesitate in getting in touch. So that will now go back to the left hand side. And once that's done, you'll hear it start cleaning. Take a couple of minutes. But like I say, yeah, any questions regarding anything you've seen on this video, anything you want to see in the future, please do not hesitate to get in touch on our social media sites. We're always happy to receive any sort of feedback. But yeah, until then, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.